In a tiny narrow cove on the southwest coast of Japan, a pod of dolphins is trapped. They've been driven in here by boats and nets and by banging of metal pipes. Now the fishermen are struggling to separate the thrashing animals. Young female dolphins are worth a lot of money. They'll be separated and kept alive for sale to dolphin shows. The rest will be killed for their meat. The activists who filmed this footage say this annual hunt is cruel and unnecessary. The slaughter process, which is called pithing, where they hammer a metal rod into the spinal cord of the dolphin. These dolphins do not die immediately. It takes up to 20 to 30 minutes for these dolphins to die, where they bleed out, suffocate, or drown. The US ambassador to Japan, Caroline Kennedy, appears to agree. Over the weekend, she took the unprecedented step of tweeting her opposition, saying she was deeply concerned by the inhumaneness of drive hunt dolphin killing. But in the little town of Taiji, attitudes to the dolphin hunt couldn't be more different. Taiji became famous, or infamous, around the world thanks to the Oscar winning documentary about the dolphin hunt called The Cove. Locals say dolphin and whale hunting has been a way of life here for centuries. They say the attitude of foreign environmental groups is based on emotion, not on logic. People are just thinking emotionally about the dolphin. They want to protect them because they're cute and clever. Locals say dolphin meat is an important part of their diet and is no different from people eating beef or pork or the meat of any other mammal. But environmentalists say the town is making millions of dollars from selling live dolphins. And they say the fishermen slaughter the others as a sort of pest control, because a dolphin eats about 10 kilos of fish every day. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.